Hello friends, today we will learn how to log in with Facebook in ASP.NET. Social media is growing by leaps and bounds nowadays. That's why more and more websites are trying to take advantage of this social buzz by integrating them in one way or another. The advantage to user is that they don't need to separate login for your site. Before we start, I just want to inform you that you don't need to write a code in your book. I provided a download link for a code in the description box. Download it from there. Now let's start. The first step is to create a Facebook app, app ID and app secret. To know how to achieve it, please watch my previous video, how to create Facebook app, app ID and app secret. I provided a link in a description box. The second step is to create two pages. One is facebook.aspx and second one is callback.aspx. And the third thing that we have to do is create one class file that is property.cs. Now we will move toward the step 3. Open facebook.aspx page. Apply one div element to your page that div id is equal to fb root and apply one uh, link to your page that is login with facebook then we will apply javascript to our page the first is window.fb sync init this function will initialize a facebook api so you have to provide your app id over here clear now I created one function that login by Facebook. Facebook, this function will authenticate a user. I navigate, go to definition. If a user will be authenticate, he will be redirected to callback.aspx page. That we are providing a page reference here clear now i am going to debug a code so you will get a better idea uh, after creating a facebook.aspx page you have to apply code behind code to your callback.aspx.cs file so first of all you have to apply your facebook app key here clear then i already provided a code to he code here so don't worry about it you will get a better idea by debugging a code Clear? Now I am going to debug a code. Let's debug a code. Login with Facebook. This one is a link button. When I click on it, it will open a pop-up for Facebook login. Now login. Click on login. You will be redirected to callback.aspx page clear uh, you will get your access token over here so I have created one function that is get Facebook user JSON now you can see we have used a graph API over here this graph API will access email name first name last name link birthday cover devices gender etc clear uh, for we will discuss graph API in, in a brief way in my later video session I will upload a, a graph API video tutorial as soon as possible so uh, by using this graph API you will get a string in a response like this as you can see you are able to access email first name last name link uh, cover Facebook etc clear uh, just I wanted to show you in JSON lint so you will get better idea validate JSON uh, by using this graph API you will get uh, basic information of user clear now we will deserialize a JSON so uh, this one will be Facebook user class that we have already created in, as a getter setter property. I have created in getter setter, I have created Facebook user. So here you will get and set your callback properties clear. Uh, so in O user, you will get these things 
clear now i just wanted to print all the things to my page so click on continue so all the information i printed here if if you wanted to store this information in your database you can uh, apply a query and insert the data in your database clear so by this way uh, we can authenticate by facebook in your website thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt related this topic mail me at druvinsha16 at gmail.com for more updates stay tuned with us on facebook if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel